So it's four o'clock in the morning and I am up really early because I'm going fishing today. So I'm at the airport, wonder where I'm going. So can anyone tell where I am yet? I am in Northern Ireland and I am going freshwater fishing for the first time ever. And I'm going with Simon Gibson from Cast North Angling. So he's going to teach me how to catch a freshwater fish. And I've got no clue on what I'm doing. I've never caught a freshwater fish in my life. So you've got a lot of... Um, Teaching to do. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully not. She'll pick it up quite easy. Yeah, it's just putting it in, isn't it? Uh, it's a bit more technical than that, but you're in a good place to, to do it, I suppose. Cool. Right, should we get in the water? Yeah, let's go. Um, right, so we're on the beautiful Loch Urn. Um, to my knowledge, it's the biggest inland body of water that we have in Northern Ireland, minus Loch Ness. Um, but it's probably my main water that I would fish most of the time. It's just a stunning, stunning place. It really, really is. What are we going to catch? We're going to catch, hopefully, fish. <laughs> that would be good. Um, yeah, so pike and perch, predominantly perch. Given they're still a wee bit warm, um, I'd say we're going to target perch most of the day. I'd say we will have quite a few pike as well, because they do tend to go for the perch lures. Um, and yeah. Numbers is really going to be the game. I don't think we're going to catch big fish today because it's just not really the right conditions for it, but it is what it is. It's always good to get out and, and at least get something, but we're definitely going to have fish. Definitely. That's I'll promise. A promise. I promise. We'll, okay. catch, we'll catch fish. So if we don't catch fish, it's his fault because he promised. <laughs> Right, so you're going to be going out into the mainstream. So I'm starting off with a baby rod. Okay. This is like the lightest rods I've ever used. Yeah. It feels like fake. Totally. You're like a toy. Yeah, so we're starting off with the perch. And as I said, summertime, like the perch are going to be more active. There's one. Yeah, there's lots of fish. Okay. So obviously, as I said, we're fishing over the top of a weed bed, seven, eight feet. And the weed will come up probably four, four or five feet. So you've got about two feet of a of an area there where you're going to want to try and bring your lure through without getting stuck. Now you're going to catch grass and stuff anyway, that's, it is what it is, that's just going to happen. Um, but what's happening is the perch are patrolling in and around the edge of the weed bed. So uh, what I want you to do is to cast out sort of about 11 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. And just start reeling, just nice and slowly. You don't need to do any twitches, anything fancy, literally just start reeling at a nice pace where you know that's going to come in within that two foot range before it starts hitting weed. That all makes sense, yeah? It does. But what I'm panicking at what happens if I don't um, if I get a stuck? Well, you get a stuck, we'll go and get it, or if you get a stuck, we'll lose it. That's just it is what it is. That's right. why we buy hundreds of them. Right, so, I'm, I, yeah. right, you're holding it the wrong way. I know, but right. I'm scared. So of right, right hand. No, don't worry about me. So right hand, yep. Yeah. And rem just remember to hold on to the rod. That's all you need to do, and the rest is easy. Perfect. Start reeling. Start reeling before it sinks. That's it. And just put your tip down a wee bit. Slow down a wee bit. You're reeling very fast, a wee bit quicker. Oh, a wee bit quicker. That'll do that. That's, if you can just continue that, that sort of pace then each time. And just obviously, you'll build into it, you'll start casting a wee bit further each time, and then in about half an hour, it'll be easy. And so, and so just bite yeah. me? Yeah, see the way you have a bit of grass. Bit of You're grass. going to get that anyway, as I said, there's loads. Bring it over and I'll do that. There's loads and loads and loads of it here, but this is where the fish lives. So it's just part and part of the And it's going to be dead obvious when I get a bite then? You'll know, yeah. I'll know. Yeah. Right, okay then. So go again, fix your line and get ready to go. That's it, go ahead, start running. Well, you got yours that far. 
Had a, bit, had a bit more practice. So you got stuck there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, look. But that's it. <laughs> if you're not in the grass, you're not you're not down far enough. Okay. It's not a great time of the day either for the perch. Isn't it? No. So what you find with the perch is they'll uh, they'll actually start to become more active towards the evening time. So uh, the first thing in the morning or in the evening. A bit like bass then? Very much, yeah. It's a very similar type of fish if you think about it. You know, doesn't have teeth, spines, hunts and, and shows. Obviously one's freshwater and one's, one's not. They're very, very similar. What is that? That's a fish. Lift your rod up, lift your rod up. There you go, your first perch. Ah! Right, lift it in. Oh. <laughs> now, what's they have spines now? So. Oh, right, yeah. okay, so I've never ever caught one of these before. So, as I said, they're exactly like bass in the sense where they've got spines, so you need to so hold that. So, I caught fishy. So, they've got spines on the top, obviously, which is quite evident, but they've also got hidden ones in here at the back of the gill plate. Ah. So one in there, too, which will get you. They're the ones that tend to get me the most. Um, you feel that they're quite a Quite a coarse fish. Oh yeah. Don't have teeth. So no. Ugh. They, it goes like that far. Like oh right, the yeah. The ridges so inside. The, they say with perch they can eat, um, you know, prey up to like almost a third of their own size. So if you just run your thumb down the right down the spines, just run it, keep and that's it, and hold it tight. You got it. Yeah. And that's it. Now he will if if he feels your hand loosening at all, he'll jump trying to get away. So. Fishy! I thought you were going to kiss it there. No. <laughs> Do you want to give him a kiss? No, you're right. Look at his mom. So what did I say? I did promise, didn't I? What was that third cast? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right, throw him back. So is he, a, is he a certain way you should put them in? No, just throw them in. Just, just yeah, yeah. nicely get drop them in. them in. Not a certain way, just don't leave them out too long. That's really it. The likes of the bigger... Oh, they swam right off, don't oh, yeah. they? The likes of the bigger fish, you know, if they, especially if they've been out of the water for... A longer period of time, you want to get them. Uh, you want to get them back in, and you sort of you know, need to hold them to the recover a bit. Okay, not going too well, is it? <laughs> I got my knot, my line in the knot, and I've just got Simon stuck on the bottom in all the reeds and stuff. So obviously you need to factor in the wind there as well. Yeah. Because you, you, you know it's only five gram jig head that you're casting. You just want to put a bit of a zip on it. Make sure you get it out. And obviously just check your reel after. That's it. It's a good cast. I've even got a fish on him stuck. Uh, just just take your hat. That's a fit. That was a pike. And he robbed me law. Yeah, that was a, that was a pike. <laughs> he bit through your line. <laughs> but see the way, you know, you could feel head shakes there? Yeah. See, obviously because it's so light, is try not to, whenever it's pulling, just let it go. But always keep your line tight. Don't don't keep reeling because right. you're putting a lot of pressure on that. Yeah. And then that's where he'll just take off then and just go on. That's you need to let your drag, let's do it. But pike in the area then. Even with a small trace, you know what I mean? He still was able to, to cut through it. Fish. Ah, oh, he's off. Oh. Yeah. like a reasonably nice part, that actually. See, I just don't get that. You just can tell, like, what fish, like, from the feel of it on your rod. Yeah, so. It's again, experience, it though, it's experience, yeah. So you'll find with perch. Oh, the camera was looking at me there. Yeah. So you'll find with perch, perch is a real jaggedy fight like this. Oh, he just came off again. Um, and again, now he's back. So if you watch the tip of the rod, look, oh, he keeps they keep coming off. So they've a real, uh, they've got a really soft mouth. So you will lose quite a few of them, you know. So whenever perch are on, if you watch the tip of the rod, you'll know it's like a like a vibration, a jag, 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 that's them shaking their head. Uh, okay. With pike, obviously, because they're a lot more substantial in size and weight, 
it, it's something a lot of time it'll just feel like a dead weight and then all of a sudden it'll just it'll take off and pull loads of drag out of your line you know you will eventually be able to tell the difference Good job. You fish on? No, I think so. There we go. Sweet. Literally lost about five in a row. That so looks that, like the same one I had. Well, they, they all do look <laughs> the same, yeah. So the parts have a very soft mouth, um, so you'll find a lot of the times that you know if you're using small lures, the hooks will pull out on you. But awesome fun, really, really good fun. If you get into a good show of them that's feeding, you can literally lose hours of yourself just catching one after another. It's like mackerel fishing is the only way I could describe it. When you get them in the right time, obviously. Fishy number two! Right. Should we let him go? He just jumped straight out of my hands. <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes, but it feels like a better process. Nice chunky. Ooh. He's not bad. Fossa, two each. Oh, we counting now, yeah. I didn't. I wasn't really trying to be honest, but that's. <laughs> Listen, it's I'll a get, conversation on now. Oh, don't, don't, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm a competitive lure angler at world championship level. Uh, okay then, so, um... <laughs> so if you beat me, I'll probably throw myself in. And, <laughs> so let, let's not make it a competition. Yeah, then. but I've got beginner's luck. Yeah, exactly. So we'll just, we'll not bother. <laughs> I am counting them. I can't, do you want to know, if we're counting the first lost, I'm probably on about 15 by now, honestly. <laughs> I've lost so many. I believe in our language you call that three two. <laughs> no, I'm only, I'm only joking. We'll not, we'll not go down that route. But I, I, lost, I think it'll make it more fun. I lost two or three there, and then caught that one all in one cast. So they're maybe starting to switch on a wee bit here. Ah, yeah. I don't know if it's the flow or the river or what it is, but they they feel a lot bigger than than what they actually are. Yeah. Well, I'll just get weeds now. Do you want to come back up to the front? <laughs> If I keep losing, yeah, we'll swap places. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I was saying earlier, perch are really funny about colours and things like that. Well, oh, you've got the green one on, haven't you? Well, you had the green one on first. I thought you were catching more on that one. Um, but what I mean is, uh, like some days you'll go out and, for example, you're using green. And that's all they want. No, they'll not take nothing else. They only want one particular colour, one particular style of lure. It could be a spinner, it could be something different. They're just really pernickety. And then the next day you could go back out and stick that same lure on and they'll not they'll not want it at all. They'll want something different. They'll want an orange one that does something completely different or a movement that's completely different. It's, they're funny. They are really just, they're hard to judge sometimes. I just dro literally dropped it down under the boat like this and I was sorting yours out and then I lifted it and there was a fish on it. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. You will find that though as well, and especially when we go out into some of the deeper spots where we're doing a bit of sort of vertical jigging and things like that for them. And a lot of the times that you will find a lot of the perch directly under the boat, whether it's the shadow or whatever it is, I don't know why, but they, you do quite well sometimes just fishing straight down as opposed to casting out. Which I suppose is a bit more familiar to you if you're fishing in the sea all the time. Yeah. <sighs> right, so the perch are active, so I'm going to try something a bit different, and it's uh, 
It's one of these heading blade baits. Um, I've used various different types of these before in the past, but these look quite funky, so I'm going to give this a bit of a rattle. Um, and that is literally what it'll do. It's, it gives out quite a bit of vibration on them. Um, so as I said, made by Hedden. That's the lime, lime PRPL color, whatever that is. Nice properly, properly twang off it. That's all because of the time of the year. You know, all the grass is all dying off. We're coming down the river, but anyway, so I'm putting this up on the shallow point and what you might see it on the finder the fish tend to then hug the top of the drop off so that I'll be in round here anyway I'll see you now in a minute I love that though, you can just move your boat with the remote control yeah. just to anywhere you want it just to, to nudge your position to be in the exact same spot and that is like an anchor it'll just hold us here Cool, good bit of kit. I just got a fish and it fell off. But we're not counting falling off fish, no, are we, Simon? Fishy, fishy, fishy! Hey. Hello. Hello, little fishy! <laughs> so the fish are obviously higher up in the water. You see the way you weren't, like, you were just reeling it straight away, where I was letting it go to the bottom and bouncing it along the bottom. So keep it high up then? Well, it seems to be, that's where they are. I like, guess two fish and two cash you had there. Fish number three for me. So that's another little perch. Yeah. So yeah, I think he's probably one of the smaller ones that I've caught today. Hello, fishy. There we go. Back in. They're just not as um, slimy as I thought they'd be either. No, they're definitely not. Mm. Some species will be like like supreme and tense. <coughs> I mean, not be catching them though. They're not really what you would consider predatory. So, so a bream freshwater fish as well, like? Yeah, yeah. Ah. They're, but they're different to what you're thinking of. Ah, okay. So, like, you're thinking of the bream, obviously the sea bream, which are like almost tropical in their sense with the way they look. Bream, freshwater bream are like grey and slimy and like, like the shape of like a big dinner plate. Bloody weeds. So annoying this. Supports like structure. All like a lot of times you will find them. Bridges, places like that. Good cast. Um, Was it this all day? Back to the next one you put it on the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so whatever for whatever reason they, they tend to hug quite tight, the walls and things like that. Stuck. With a good jig. It looks like a rock. Yeah, you read that one. Got a shark! <laughs> How'd you do it? <laughs> you stuck again on that one. <laughs> I don't know. What am I doing wrong? Stuck again. <laughs> I just can catch the bottom and you're catching all the fish. He's a bit bigger. Mm. That much bigger and that flow. <gasps> Got myself on stuck there. Oh did you? Yeah. yeah. See the zebra muscles on it? 
I caught a muscle. <laughs> so they're actually invasive. They have choked up a lot of the a lot of the bottom of the, the waterways around here. Is it like the seagoing boats? Uh, yeah, yeah, similar type of thing, but they're like I don't know where they've came from or whatever, but they've been slowly taken over for the last few few years now. And what they actually make the water a lot clearer as well, which is not really a good thing. These are the birds laughing at me. Well, that's a good one, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Well, the only thing I can cast is the bottom. I'm going to get that one. Oh, well, I'm truly stuck here. Eh? Mm. Yeah, we're going to just literally cast for perch here for a couple of minutes, and what I'll do is I'm going to look at the pike lures out here. Mm. and we'll, uh, So, pike are bigger fish? Yeah. But, right, okay. Pike are the apex, apex predator in these. In these waters, um, in terms of fish, obviously you've still got your cormorants and your otters and whatever else, but in terms of fish, pike is the the number one dog. And that's what we want to catch. Bigger fish, the better. Well, yeah, so to say. Sometimes people are just happy catching anything. You yeah. Just can't please everybody, can you? Do? No, I'm happy with a little <laughs> fish. I'll have anything. Jeez. So see the way the weight's on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So the way you're actually looking to fish that is you actually want to try and keep the weight on the bottom as much as possible. Then obviously that's set about 12 inches off the bottom. Your lure set about 12 inches off the bottom. So you're just going to cast it out, let it sink. So what, fishing in about 10 foot of water there. All right, so if you imagine the weight's on the bottom there now and you're just doing small pops like that. Okay. And so you're just jiggling the fish. Every time you, you put that wee tiny bit of movement into the tip of the rod, that's that's giving the life to the lure. Do you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. you want the weight. Wait on the on. bottom and yeah. the little fish wiggling. Yeah. Right. And then okay. If you want to think, if you think about it, that lure is just going to come along 12 inches off the bottom the whole way in, basically in the strike zone. See, with that one as well, is you can actually fish it just in vertical, straight under the boat. You know, if you didn't want to cast it out that far or whatever, you just uh, what you know fall. <laughs> <laughs> Cameras falling everywhere. Yeah, you need you just you need to watch out for watch out for waves. Occasionally, you will uh, get caught out. But well, we have different rods for these ones. Aren't yeah, we? so we're on the big rods now, obviously because the lures are much heavier. <coughs> right. So Simon actually makes these laws. Oh. <laughs> How awesome are they? I'll drop a link to Simon's YouTube video and shop as well and Instagram in the description. But yeah, so if you're looking for some really good laws, well, I'll let you know if they're really good if I catch anything with them. <laughs> right then, what do you do with these? So just the same as what you were doing this morning, really. You're just going to cast and reel. So it has a 10 gram. 10 gram weight on it. So obviously it's going to be a lot heavier than what you were using this morning. So do we want this to drop? Is this drag. going to drop or is this going to stay on the surface? Well, because of the 10 gram weight, it's going to it's going to sink. Okay. So you're literally casting it out and just reeling it at a nice pace where the the lure is going to work. You know the, the so they get the tail action. Yeah. So the way I make them lures, they're they're quite elongated, if that's the right description. So they're You'll actually get like a rolling action on the tail wobble. So. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah. Pike on. Doesn't usually happen as quick as that now. <laughs> wow! Did you 
Just holding all that. Yeah. Oh wow, he has got teeth. Yeah. So there we go, nice fish. Wow, I've never ever seen one of these before. Probably 70 odd centimetres. Let's have a look at his teeth. So if you imagine you're a small fish, once you go in there, you're not coming out. It looks a bit like a snake. Yeah, they're very uh, reptilian. Woo! <laughs> reptilian like sometimes, aren't they? He was a jumper. Full well of beans. No worries. That was cool. Right, I need to get one yeah. now. I need to get one now. So the, God, you had to do enough jump, don't they? So the snaker shards work okay then? So yeah. What was that? You second like cast. second cast, <laughs> big <laughs> massive pike. So I'll uh, I'll give Simon a thumbs up on them laws. <laughs> so took that one. One of mine. It's called the purple smoke. Yeah. Oh, that's a big perch. Oh, that's a big perch. No, it's not. What on earth is that? Is that a big bream or something? Yeah, it's a bream. <laughs> this is like the second one of these I've ever caught on, on lures. You know, these are like what you would catch on sweet corn and maggots and that sort of thing. Um, I've never caught one on, on a drop shot in here. I've had other people on the boat that's caught them. Yeah, there you go. So you got first. First, yeah. Fur and square in the mouth. Now, these are the things I think. I actually think it's a hybrid, a roach bream hybrid, yeah, which is why it's fighting a bit harder than what they normally do. Oh. No, so I don't want them back because they really slay me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I'm happy just to get that back. He's um, a good size, him. Yeah, well, for those, like if, if if match guys that fish on like swim feeders and floats and that sort of thing, like they'd be over the moon with that. You can sort of see the slime right up the up the line. So I was happy just to get rid of him without having to bring him into the boat. I'm sure you probably wanted to see him, but you need to have your photos to take him no, with thanks. him. No, thanks. No, he's he's quite all right. So that's what he decided to take. Ah. So this, I was literally I had, hadn't even first, hit the bottom. First drop. Yeah, I knew it was going to happen because you did, were in the middle of putting the. Still haven't finished. Yeah, putting the camera batteries yeah, in. Yeah, I was swapping the camera battery and I said, the second I swap the camera battery, you'll have a fish. <laughs> fish on, two seconds later. What is it? Perch. Ah, oh, little perch. This is more along the lines of what we want. There you go. I'm fishing there for ages, put the rod down, I said as soon as I put my rod in, time to get one. What are you, what, what, what are you putting on your lures? Because I've been using that for ages. It's the same thing. Right, I'll show you again. I'm going to ban you from fishing in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having another fish for ages and he's literally just as soon as he puts the rod in, getting them. Do you want me to do it again? Do you think you can do it again? I think so. Oh, pressure's right. on now. You catch a fish now, I'm going down. <laughs> oh, I'm going like that, eh? I've, I've literally been there for like 10 minutes, like not a nibble. And he goes, yeah, do you want to go to the front and I'll go there? Oh, he's a big one. Yeah, best one that we've had today. Chunky one. What's that now for you? Oh, I told you. They lost count. They lost count. Right, I need to step my <laughs> game up. Fishy. Did he get you? Nearly. Stay there. Oh, 
Então, aí, galera. Don't bite me finger. There's no teeth. Yep. Hello, fishy. <laughs> you that little nibble, there? No, well, that was he was definitely on there. You should have maybe lifted it. There you go. No, that's me. No, oh, you're fish on too. <laughs> I got fish. Hey, fishy. Hello, fishy. Hello, fishy. Hello, fishy. I thought I had uh, ruined it there. <laughs> you thought you had a bite, but it was actually me around your line. See if I can get one at the same time here, I'll get a double header. Oh, well, no. I can't get my fingers down enough to get to the tip of the hook. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Do you want to throw that one out and I'll take this one? You got it? Oh, all right. See a wee trick there, look. See, it's not there, but if... Ah. So I'm still sort of leaning on, on hook and fish. Gemma's, Especially like little Gemma's ones. Fish. Yeah. I find the little ones are actually harder to deal with. Yeah. He's he's got it right in the scissors, him. That's why. You got him. No, I'm gonna <laughs> slip. Let go. See, I'm like scared to hit them and yeah. be too uh, too aggressive. Uh -huh. There you go. We both got fish. So right. better. Let's get more. Okay. They're right under the boat. So I think I'm. I think I've been waiting for like a big bite of it to run away. No. So literally the second I feel, I yeah. need to be like coming off. So I think that's where I've been going wrong. Especially with perch. So the way perch, they'll just they'll hit it, shake the head really quick, and then let go. Right. So I need it's, to. It's not like tope where they're going to lift it and run. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm waiting for that. No. Thing. So I just the first little yeah. feel, go for it. And you don't need to pull the head off them either. It's literally just a, you know, a quick, uh, quick flick. Right. Okay. Yo! <laughs> it looks like a better one. No. Oh. There you're pro now. There you go. I've got it now. I was waiting too long. You just literally, the second you feel it, you need to whack it off. Okay. I'm on this now. I've lost count as well. <laughs> okay, I think this might be like my number six. Another little fishy. <laughs> so yeah, so he was on the copper spoon. Off he goes. Yeah. I've lost count now. How many of them I've caught? I know. You're off by your time to catch a pike now. <laughs> but I've, uh, I've, I've, I've probably I still haven't caught modern time in there, so. Alright. Got a fish. I don't know what it is. Pike. <laughs> Put a little bit of line across the way. That's it. Pike caught. I got a pike! <laughs> oh. <laughs> They've got teeth. <laughs> Slippery. Yeah. Try to hold the line. Little pike. Got big teeth. Wow! If I hold it out, it looks bigger, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then put him back in gently. He yeah. probably jumps, so just make sure you're over the edge. Oh, he swam off. <laughs> a bit slimy. <laughs> well done. Yay! There we go. We got the two fish that we wanted to get today. Literally in the last ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're literally we're going in in ten minutes. And all day, so I was like, you need to get a pike, you need to get a pike. So there we go, we got one! Yay! So the boat is all safely back on the trailer now. Um, just doing the little pack downs, disconnecting the batteries, get the cover on, and then back to Simon's house to drop it off. And then I've got to go straight to the airport and get my flight all the way home. Um, that was an experience, I really enjoyed that, that was something, something different that I've never done before. 
Um, and yeah, I think there's a bit more finesse to freshwater fishing than there is to like sea angling, isn't there? Definitely. There's a, you know, like, obviously I, when Simon was catching loads of the uh, perch and I weren't, I'm like, what am I doing wrong? And I'm waiting for it to like grab it and run like you do when you get a fish at sea. And it's just a little nibble and then you've got to get it. So yeah, once I realized that, then that I got into more fish, so that was good. But now I've had a, a really awesome day. So I'm gonna drop all of Simon's links into the description. Um, he's got a YouTube channel, obviously he makes them awesome laws. So if you fish, go and go and have a little nose round. Um, thank you all so much for watching. See you again soon. Just want to say a massive thank you to Simon for spending the day with me and teaching me how to fish. I had an awesome day. So to show him some love, go over and subscribe to his YouTube channel and check out his online shop if you're into law fishing.